Hello, everyone. This is another Black Conservative. I'm Ryan Bowden. Thank you all for joining me. I want to do a little continuation of the tragic shooting that took place in Nashville several weeks ago. And what I want to read is a short article on this idea that actually there was a trans day of vengeance that took place preceded, that actually preceded the actual shooting. A trans day of vengeance that actually preceded the actual shooting at the school in Nashville, the Christian school in Nashville. So let's get right into this article. I'm going to give you my commentary because there's a lot to unpack here. It says, the mass shooting by Audrey, Audrey Hale, the 28-year-old transsexual who murdered three kids and three staffers at a Nashville Christian school Monday, was preceded by left-wing radicals calling for a, quote, trans day of vengeance. Now, think about that for a moment. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that this so-called trans day of vengeance uh, provoked this transgender uh, female, okay? And, and let me say this, too. Let me bring this out real quick um, before I go any further, because I want to explain something here. I have gotten often criticized for calling, uh, using people of mispronouncing their pronouns, their preferred pronouns. Let me say this right up front. If you own my job, I do, I do security at my job. If my job requires that I call a transgender by their preferred pronoun, I would do so because I'm on my job and I'm in uniform. Okay. I'm going to do that. Uh, if it makes that person feel good, I'll use their preferred pronoun. Okay. Because the way I see it, they're the ones delusional. They're the ones need help. And look, at the end of the week, I'm getting my money. They're not asking me to do anything immoral. So I'm going to go ahead and call you by your preferred pronoun while I'm on my job. But when I'm on my channel or if I'm in my church or I'm on my channel, I'm going to call you by your biological name. This is my this biological uh, sex. This is my, my channel. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to feed into someone's delusion or mental illness on my channel. Now, unless YouTube tell me, hey, you need to call them by their preferred pronoun, then that's different. I'll go ahead and do it to satisfy their cravings and mental illness. I'll go ahead and do it. But if it's on my channel, I'm going to call you a man or a woman like you biologically are. I'm not going to feed this person's delusions. They need help. They need the Lord in their life, and they need deliverance, and they need mental help. So I just want to bring that out. On my channel, I'm going to, I'm going to call them the right I'm going to call them the right biological sexual preference, which is if you're a female and you think you're a man, I'm going to call you a female. If you're a man, you think you're a female, I'm going to call you a man. Okay. On my channel. Just want to make that clear. Anyway, let's go on. In February, a group of transsexuals, transsexuals announced that, quote, a day of vengeance will be held in Washington, D.C. between March 31st and April 2nd. Get that now, March 31st and April 2nd. We're past that. And this article, by the way, let me bring something else out too. This article is, is a relatively old article. I meant to do this article, uh, read this article some time ago, but some situations intervened and I had to do those things first and I didn't get a chance to. So this article is a little bit late, but better late than never, right? Between March 31st and April 2nd. So if they had that day of, uh, trans day of vengeance, then and, and it went on and it already, it already has happened. I wonder how that panned out. Their specific goal is to, quote, watch this, stop transgenocide, specifically by raising money for firearms. The now deleted tweet read, quote, we hope to see you in D.C. or online. The time is now. Enough is enough. This country is full of hate and hate is not welcome in this country. We are human beings and we will exist. You are all worth it. Let's unite. Dance party fundraiser, March 7th, 8 p.m., 2 a.m. Benefiting firearm slash self-defense training for trans Virginians. Come boogie with us and defend trans life. This is what's killing me. This, here's the part that gets in the article right Here's the part that got me. The fact that this is supposed to be uh, some kind of benefit fundraiser to raise money to defend trans life by uh, training in firearms. Think about that. Here you got these Democrats telling you and I that we need to get rid of, oh my God, these people make me so sick. They make me want to barf. They're telling you and I that we need to, that, that, that these so-called, um, 
what do they call them? Stupid word they call it. Uh, assault weapons needs to be banned, right? That's what the Democrats keep spitting at you and I every single time that these assault weapons need to be banned every time there's a mass shooting. And yet here at the same time, right, you have preceded that the, an event that's supposed to have preceded the actual mass shooting of this transgender female talking about a trans day of vengeance and being trained in firearm and self-defense. Now, what kind of firearms are they talking about? Hmm? And what are they defending themselves against? Has there been any type of mass attack against transgenders? I'm not talking about isolated events where you have a transgender uh, male that looks like a, a, a female, because you have some transgender males that look like females and they look, they really are attractive, but they're males. Biologically, they're males. I don't care what kind of hormone pills they take or whatever, they're males biologically, period, okay? And you go out with some man and, 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 and what happens is he finds out that you are actually uh, a, a male, it might, end, it might not end too well. Because to him, he sees it as you tricked him, you deceived him. That's how that's how he's going to see it. He's going to see it as you tricked him, you deceived him, and it may not end too well for that individual person. Okay? We're not talking about isolated incidents. We're talking about mass attacks against transgenders. Is there any of that? Transgenders make up less than 1% of the population. That's like one statistical statement said that's like 1% of the population here in America. It's like 300 and what? Over 300 million people here in America. The trans, there's only like a million transgenders here in America. And you mean to tell me they're under attack? And then you come up with this concept of trans day of vengeance? Vengeance, what do you mean vengeance? Well, as I checked, vengeance means to, re, to wreak revenge on someone who has done you wrong. It sounds like to me that the attacks are going to be initiated by far left radical trans rights or transgender or trans rights radical groups rather than heterosexuals attacking trans people. Because the numbers don't match up. Let's deal with the facts and not the emotions. The numbers don't match up. Let's deal with the facts and not the emotions. We're being manipulated, folks. We're being manipulated. I'm going to keep saying it to the day I die. Our, 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 our institutions have been infiltrated by Marxists and communists. They said they would tear us apart and divide us from within, that they would not need to use guns. They would not need to use violence. They would not need to do any of that. They would destabilize us from within. And if we keep falling for this rhetoric, these, these, these groups, these activist radical groups that are highly financed and highly trained to cause chaos, if we keep falling for them, it's going to be another civil war in this country. It's only a matter of time. And guess what? The civil war is not going to be an organic, natural civil war. It's going to be a civil war provoked by outside sources, the Marxists, pitting people against each other. Now you got these transgenders running around here. And not all of them are doing this. Not all of them are doing this. These are only the, the ones that are doing this are the activist groups that are highly paid. They're not doing it for free. They're highly paid and trained to cause chaos. That's what we're probably going to see in the future. It ticks me off to see how they have managed to take this incident, this mass shooting in Nashville of six innocent people in a Christian school and flip it around to victimize trans people. Only That's why I tell people, stop watching the mainstream media. They're poison. They're poison. I went to the library the other day to do some work, and who did I see on TV, you know, uh, say the TV, uh, CNN? What are the main culprits of leftist liberal lunacy? And I'm like, oh my God, I, 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 I was so sick. I did a, a one-minute video, I think a 30-second video, a one-minute video on that nonsense, and I just had the camera just hitting up there. I'm like, I'm, I don't need to say nothing about this because it's retarded. It was in reference to Donald Trump's arraign, uh, arraignment. But I'm like, man, come on. 
come on, you, anybody should be able to see that that's how biased they are. But I'm not going to get into the detail of that nonsense. The point is, is that the mainstream media is poison. And I've said this before, we need to, people need to mix it up. Stop allowing these people on the mainstream media to poison your mind into thinking that all alternative news sources are a bunch of cons wacko conspiracy theorists. That is not true. That's a lie from the pits of hell. How in the heck you going to know that when you never spend time looking at the vast spectrum of alternative news sources out there? You see how crazy that sounds? Makes no sense whatsoever. But I just wanted to say that about that. This is sick and disgusting. It's crazy. And you know what's interesting? Let me bring this out too as I begin to summarize this video. Let's read another article in part in reference to the same situation with this trans individual, uh, this transgender situation. And I think it had to do with, um, God, wait a minute. I think it had to do with, uh, yeah, it had to do with this, the, the, the female who believed she was a man OK, had to do with the fact that she had been planning this for months in advance. She had been planning this event for months in advance and had supposedly wrote some kind of manifesto that has yet to have been revealed to the public. But she had been planning this for a long time. She had been planning to commit mass, a massacre, a mass shooting for months. It's crazy. It's crazy. But 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 I'm not going to go into the detail of what I think a lot of this is, too. I did that in some previous videos before, but I may do that in the future and give more detail on that. But may I dare do that, you know, but we'll see how the way God leads me. But yeah, yeah. This trans day of vengeance. What do you mean by vengeance? Vengeance against who? Vengeance against who? No one is attacking transgender people in mass. No one. That is just a way to, to cause division. That's a Marxist attack to cause division and, and, and animosity and hatred and tension between two factions of people. That's what that, that's all that is. Okay. So that's what I wanted to say on there. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless you all and see you again.